what is going on guys, it is the Linkster here and I want to start off by apologising for the lack of uploads in the past few months. I have had a few health issues which have been quite stressful and tiring, but luckily nothing too serious and I am now on the mend. However, I want to thank you all so much for the support in the comments and the sheer amount of likes and subscriptions to the channel in the past while. We hit 100 subscribers the other day which didn't take long at all, so I thank you all for that. Anyway, let's get started with today's video. I have been asked a few times in the comments about how is best to find modded DayZ servers and how and where to download the mods for them. I am going to show you the technique that I use which I have never had an issue with. The first thing I will say is that I would never ever recommend downloading mods from websites which aren't trusted as this can lead to files containing viruses and please never click links unless you are over 100% sure that they are safe. So the technique that I use is using a software called DZSA Launcher, which will be linked in the description of course, although it's very easy to find online. So first of all, go to DZSA Launcher's website, hit the big red download button and save the file into your downloads folder. Once it's downloaded, open the setup file that you have just downloaded and proceed through the installation. It doesn't necessarily matter where you install DZSA Launcher, but I have mine on the same drive that my DAISY standalone is on. Feel free to allow the software to create a desktop shortcut for easy access later on. Once the installation is complete, make sure your Steam client is open and logged into your account, as DZSA Launcher needs Steam to download the required server files. Once your Steam is open, you can proceed to open DZSA Launcher, and you will be greeted with roughly the same screen as mine. The first thing you will want to do is click Settings at the top right of the launcher and make sure that the correct DAISY standalone path is selected. Your DAISY game folder can be found in Steam, Steam Apps, Common, DAISY, and you will need to select the root DAISY folder. Further down the settings menu is a place to input your in-game name, and as you can see, mine is set to the Linkster. Once you have done that, click the arrow button to minimise the settings menu and you should see all the modded DAISY standalone servers. At first, this may look like a lot of information to take in, but after a few minutes it's quite easy to navigate. I would recommend clicking the player button to sort the servers by highest player count first, and then scroll down to a server with the player count you are interested in. You can see the ping of each server, player count, map and what time of day it is in game in case you don't want to play in the dark. Once you have found a server you are interested in trying, I would recommend faving it by clicking the star icon to the left of the server name then tick in the show favourites only box on the left, making it easier to see the server you choose and making it easy to access it in the future. The next thing to do is click the play button on the right side and click play. However, this will not put you in game straight away unless by pure chance you have all the mods installed already. The second you press play, the mods will start downloading from the Steam Workshop and you can easily see the progress by opening Steam and clicking on the downloads at the bottom and here it will show you the progress of your DAISY Workshop mod downloads. Once this is completed, you will then be able to click play again on the server in DZSA Launcher and it will load up DAISY with all the correct mods enabled and automatically connect you to the server. It's really that simple, but if you do have any kind of questions, feel free to comment down below and I will be sure to respond to as many questions as you have as possible. Anyways, that's going to sum up this video, but I hope that it can help you get into the daisy action. Please be sure to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe if it helped, and don't forget to click the bell icon to be notified whenever I upload some fresh content. Stay safe.